Well, this solves a whole lot of problems. So, if you're a Mac user, and you have a lot of plugins like I do, um, or even if you don't have a lot of plugins, you're probably dealing with the issue of organizing them all, keeping track of them, figuring out what's getting updated, figuring out what's not getting updated, keeping things compatible, and so on and so forth. Uh, especially with the whole transition from Intel to Apple Silicon, it's been a bit of a chore to figure out, you know, has this gone native? Is it universal binary? Is it, uh, you know, Intel only? Who's updating? Who's not updating? Uh, you know, you're probably familiar, if you're a Logic user, with the plugin manager, but it only tells you so much. It gives you your list of plugins. It tells you whether they're validated and, you know, uh, that's a lot of Air Windows plugins. Um, and and you know what type they are but that doesn't get you everything you need so there's a little app on the mac app store and i want to give a shout out to alex k from the telecon slack for pointing me at this uh he records under the name digital geist he's fantastic uh check out his records i'll link to that in the the description box um also his uh, collaborative uh, record with uh, patrick codinus from front 242 Mwah, chef's kiss um anyway there's this app called plug info and it's on the mac app store it's three dollars and it will show you pretty much everything you need to know about all your plugins in all formats like, for example, I recently figured out that I had like 16 gig worth of AIX plugins sitting on my hard drive. I don't use Pro Tools. I have no need for AIX plugins. Uh, they were just things that got installed um, sort of by accident or by default when I ran an updater or something like that. So I was able to free up some hard drive space. But as you can see, I've got some old stuff on here. PowerPC 32 intel 64 that's fine that runs with uh rosetta right now but this is all stuff that i'm probably going to have to update at some point uh so i can find out there's filtering on this so if i want to find out what's intel 64 it'll show me all my intel 64 there's some keywords so you can specify whether that's searching the architecture um so here are all my Intel 64 plugins. Some of them are audio units. Uh, there's some VSTs in here. Uh, mostly, let's see, yeah, there's the VSTs. Uh, I don't use VSTs a lot, but I do occasionally because I sometimes switch over to Ableton. VST3, it keeps those separate. So this will search all your plugin directories. It will find out what's there, what's compatible, what's not. You can figure out what specific plugins. So if I want to say, uh, uh, let's look at contact. Oops, help if I spell it right. So if I typed contact, here's all my versions of contact. Uh, contact 7 is uh, Apple native that's great my older versions of contact are however not but that's okay because i don't use those but it's lets me know that okay they're they're m1 m2 m3 which is coming out sometime soon i guess uh they're they're apple silicon native uh i will not need to uh update those i can run those without rosetta i can run those natively uh here i've got a power pc 32 one which means i probably should get rid of it i can select it in finder um, so it shows me where it is, brings it up, so I can just get rid of this one because I can't use it. Why would I want it? And there it goes. Um, so yeah, this thing is called Plug Info. It's three bucks, two ninety nine, whatever, on the Mac App Store. If you have a lot of plugins, it is worth it just to know what's going on on your system, and I highly recommend it. The YouTube algorithm knows all, sees all, and controls our lives. So in the spirit of that, 
Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more studio videos and music videos. Also, feel free to check out Null Device, Clack, or Edgecase Development Corporation on Bandcamp or your favorite streaming site. Thank you.